This is our last one. Holland circuit as a current source. This circuit is a very popular. When I just introduce a voltage source, current source, I said, uh, normally you have a voltage source. If you need a current source, you need to convert a voltage to current. Uh, this is um, one. As a, a current source, the um, most important parameter is uh, output evidence. Uh, ideally, a current source should have infinite output evidence. So at least the output impedance should be high. Uh, if the output impedance is uh, very high, it doesn't really matter. You have uh, what uh, load uh, connects to, your, your current wouldn't change. In 1960, Professor Bradford Holland at MIT, is a Massachusetts Institute of Technology, proposed a voltage control current source. So that's why this circuit is called Holland circuit. Here is a, the circuit. It's a, not very complicated. Look, this circuit, you have a R1, R2, R3, R4. <coughs> oh. Res resistors, one open, and this, this part, this is a load, RL is a load. Now we can analyze um, this uh, circuit by using Kirchhoff current law. This is similar to node voltage method, or, or it, it is node voltage method. Okay, let's uh, see, we start from here. You have uh, this, uh, this is a current LO. This uh, current come from uh, two way, the one way from uh, here, from here, the other way from there. So you have uh, two currents uh, coming. Uh, to analyze uh, this circuit, we need uh, to assume a middle parameter V. Uh, if we assume this potential is V, that potential is also V. This is the same. Uh, now we can uh, write um, this uh, current. This is a VI minus V divided by R1. So VI minus V divided by R1. That is a current uh, here. That is a current. Yeah. Uh, that, because there is no current here, there's only one way you go this way. The second one, uh, okay, uh, that, that is uh, one current. The second one is uh, here, is a VO, the potential difference across this resistor. This is a VO minus V. Yes, so here is a V, here is a V, here is a V. Minus V divided by R2. So basically you have a two current, you add those two current together, it become your output current. So LO equals, so I can add those two together. Those two, I add together, that equal, equal this uh, output current. So that is a uh, equation here. Is, uh, uh, in this uh, equation, we have uh, LO, VO, V, VI. There are too many parameters in this uh, equation. So we, uh, we have no idea how we can link this. Uh, how can we uh, find out what is uh, LO? There's too many. Now, because V takes part of VO, yeah, look here. We look at here. If we have a V, VO here, uh, this, if we consider this VO, because of this uh, voltage, you have a uh, current go that way, go that way. Yeah. V will take a part of a VO. So th this is a voltage divider. Uh, we can write 
v equals v0 you times this times r3 divided by r3 plus r4 so basically this is a voltage uh, divider <laughs> Now we have uh, one more equation. We, now we have two equations, but still we have uh, too many parameters. Uh, in above two equations, there are four variables, V, I, V, O, I, V, uh, too many. Uh, let's see how can we can um, get rid of uh, some parameters so that we can, think, we can find out what uh, I, O is. Because now we have two equations, this equation, that equation. Now we can get rid of one variable. In this case, the most uh, unwanted is this, this V, this middle parameter. Now we can get rid of this. If we uh, do this, if we take uh, uh, I0, uh, basically, if we uh, can replace V by this, uh, by this, we want to replace V. From that equation here, we have VO divided by R2. Uh, now we have this one, this is a VI divided by R1. Now we move this atom to later. Manner, this is minus V over one over R2. Here is also minus, now this is a plus here, is a one over R1. So we change uh, from this, this equation, we just uh, um, separate those uh, terms, try to take uh, the common V out. We keep the, those are the same. Now here we have uh, V, that is V. That is uh, something we don't want. Now we use this, replace V. So this will become V zero R3 over R3 R1 times this uh, bracket. Now still it's uh, quite uh, complicated. Uh, what we can do, <coughs> uh, we move VI, this atom to front. With so all others, you have a V0. Now we take a V0 out. We have one over R2. Uh, this block, we remain here. It's minus R3 over R3 plus R4. Here's one over R1 plus one over R2. <coughs> however, however, this result still involve um, uh, too many unknowns in particular involve this. That is something we don't want. We just want to find out the relationship IO and VI. Uh, from this, uh, this circuit, now you can see if you want uh, to know IO as output and this output voltage, that's uh, something you are not really interested. Uh, how can we get rid of a VO? Uh, that is a key. Holland suggested we can choose R4 over R3 equals R2 over R1 so that we can get rid of a VO. We can uh, make this uh, relationship, this uh, part uh, here is uh, much uh, simpler. All right. Uh, Actually, I left uh, one exercise question from this. You can see that, that from this. Uh, it, how can we uh, verify this can be zero if we meet this uh, condition? This is R4 over R3 equals R2 over R1. So we don't uh, spend time here. I can tell you the result. Once you can meet this condition, R4 over R3, equals R2 over R1, this term will completely gone. And this term becomes zero. So once this disappeared, you have I0 equals VI divided by R1. So that is the final result. If you meet this condition, I0 
is only depends on your input voltage and R1. We're back to this uh, circuit, this uh, input voltage and R1. So this results indicate it doesn't really matter what your RL is, your current I0 is only determined by VI and R1. And once this is a constant, that is a constant, uh, this is a constant, the IO is a constant. So that is uh, exactly what we need for a current source. It's uh, the current wouldn't change with uh, loads. So it is this important condition Holland suggested that made the Holland famous. So now everyone know this is called the Holland circuit. Because the output current is independent on RL, now we can guess the output uh, impedance is uh, infinite. So if that is the case, this is uh, a current source. Today is uh, quite long. I leave, uh, I stop here and see how many minutes. <laughs>